I'll admit, this was not what I expected. The Demon King was pushed out of Zeldris' body, which was no surprise. But to take his son's place, he literally just used the ground of Britannia as his new vessel to become a massive ground monster bigger than a mountain. The look is definitely intimidating, but I'm not sure how I feel about the Demon King's last stand being him as a big mound of dirt. Giant monsters have their place, but I think the Demon King should look more like an evil demon emperor, rather than a tentacle-chinned monster with his tongue hanging out. This would have been an excellent design for an Indra, or any low-intelligence powerful monster, but I'm not sure it's a good fit for the Demon King. His new size will also make this battle seem less personal, as it'll end up being little specks fighting against a massive monster. The Demon King is the father of Meliodas and Zeldris, and he's the one who basically caused all of the problems the Seven Deadly Sins have faced so far. So this is an extremely personal fight. I think something's lost in that aspect when it's a bunch of little dots fighting an opponent with such size and girth. They can no longer look each other in the eyes and have a proper conversation. Fights against giant monsters are definitely cool, and if the Demon King ends up shrinking down before he gets finished off, I'll be fine with his new massive form. But I would rather not this form be his final stand. I'm definitely happy he didn't lose the same way as he did last time though, with him just being done after being pushed out of his vessel. This time he was still conscious while in his commandment form, and even tried to take Zeldris' body back, but Bond saved him. It's interesting how he didn't try this last time though. I guess he just wanted to stay low so he could take over Zeldris' body, and since Cusack was there, he decided not to show that he was still conscious. After being saved by Bond, little baby Zeldris got confronted by Big Bro Meliodas, so he hid his head in Gelda's voluptuous bosom. I won't deny, there probably aren't much better places to hide. The size of the Demon King's dirt form is so big that multiple groups of characters around the country could see it. All of them were quivering in fear. All of them except one. The portly beast. The mother of chaos. The pig who knows no equal. Hawk's mom. She was just walking towards the Demon King, looking like she didn't have a care in the world. I'm predicting that Hawk's mom will play a role in defeating the Demon King as we should all know by now that she is extremely powerful. I don't expect her to straight up own the Demon King, but I think she'll have her moment to shine when she arrives. Now that the Demon King's out of Zeldris, all of the characters have no reason to hold back anymore. Hopefully we'll finally see Meliodas go into his Demon King form, because there's no reason for him not to anymore. Hopefully Nakaba hasn't forgotten about it, and I hope he doesn't just decide to have Meliodas go into that form for the final attack just to finish the Demon King off. I would like him to use the form long enough to show us at least some of its power. The only way I'd be okay with the form just being used for a second to finish the Demon King off is if he'll end up using that form to fight the Supreme Deity or another extremely powerful foe in the future. But even then, I think him not using it here just isn't logical. I did think this chapter was very well done, and it perfectly set up the coming fight next chapter. We got a good moment between Meliodas, Zeldris, and Gelda, we got to see an epic panel of the Seven Deadly Sins standing together ready to fight against the Demon King. And we got a good build-up for the Demon King's new form, with cool scenes showing it being created, and the terrified reactions of the denizens of the country. If the coming fight is as good as the build-up was, I'll be happy. Maybe not as happy as Zeldra smothered between Gelda's breasts, but I'll be happy.